Dear brothers and sisters, I woke up today with the Holy Spirit grieved in me and I had many things inside that I wanted to get out. So I have written them down as soon as I could. And I want to read that to you today. I know this uh, will sound judgmental, but it's up to you to decide whether what I'm saying, whether what I have written down is from me or from the Holy Spirit. Dear friend, if you think that being part of a denomination makes you a Christian, then you probably are not a Christian. If you associate with your nation, sports team, political party, or any other group more than you associate with Jesus Christ, then you probably are not a Christian. If you associate with your denomination and defend it more than you defend Jesus and his words, then you probably are not a Christian. If you are ashamed to proclaim Jesus out loud and stand out for him publicly, then you probably are not a Christian. If you are annoyed to hear about Jesus, about the words of Jesus, then you probably are not a Christian. If you pray to dead saints and expect them to mediate for you, then you probably are not a Christian. If you don't know whether you are born again or not, then you probably are not a Christian. If you think going to church on Sunday makes you a Christian, then you probably are not a Christian. If you don't know whether Jesus Christ is real or not, then you probably are not a Christian. If you haven't read Jesus' words and have no interest in doing that, then you are not a Christian. If seeking the kingdom of God is not a priority in your life, then you are not a Christian. If you still are deliberately living in willful sin, then you are not a Christian. If you don't know why Jesus died on the cross for you, then you are not a Christian. If you don't strive to live in holiness and righteousness every day, then you are not a Christian. If you use curse words and think it's okay, then you are not a Christian. If you think you will be saved, even if you don't truly follow and obey Jesus, then you are not a Christian. If taking time to pray is not part of your life, then you are not a Christian. If Jesus is not your first priority, if following Jesus and obeying him is not your priority, then you are not a Christian. Without Jesus, without the Holy Spirit, without repentance, without following and obeying Jesus in righteousness and holiness, you will not be saved and you will certainly end up in hell. Dear professing, nominal or denominational Christian, I call on you today to wake up and come to Jesus Christ, the true living God, and may God bless you.